All right, so you're considering making a move to Safety Harbor, Florida, and you're wondering what it looks like. Well, today we are going to take you on a full vlog tour of Safety Harbor, Florida. Um, right now I'm standing right downtown Main Street uh, in a beautiful area, right at the end of the block, which we're going to take you to later, is the world-class spa. It's, an, <laughs> it's known for just the, the world-class amenities that it has to offer. Um, but this town specifically is great. Now, Kate and I, um, almost ended up getting a house here when we first came down we started looking because we couldn't find a house in Dunedin I told you guys that story before about how we really tried to move to Dunedin but we just couldn't get that spot so we ended up looking at these houses in uh, Safety Harbor specifically and we came across this big house made an offer on it didn't end up getting it but we fell in love with this town and we, we went and had dinner at um, a place called the uh, the Whistle Stop Cafe which was absolutely awesome and then uh, this whole street Main Street here shuts down they have what's called Third Fridays it looks like it's every other month right now but they shut it down as world-class restaurants eating and for if you're a foodie this is your town man there's some beautiful parks here it's right on the bay we're going to get into those things today <laughs> This is your first time to the channel. We make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to play here, what it's like to work here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And hey, we're getting phone calls from people just like you from all over the country who are considering making a move. Whether you're calling, texting, email, heck, I'm even getting DMs on Instagram. Whenever it comes to relocating to the area or investing in the area, just know that my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. y'all now we're here at beautiful mullet creek park and we are just off the bay um, but this is a beautiful little area to come in hang out with the family hang out get out of the sun enjoy some of the shade i'll show you guys around here a little bit cool art the thing i really like about safety harbor as well is all the art that is in town here um, and everything just kind of feels organic it, it, best way I could describe it is like nothing really feels out of place even though it's man-made right they try to blend you know the, the man-made things in with nature and that's always a really nice sign in a park especially in an area like this so um, just beautiful sitting area you come chill out relax surrounded by the neighborhoods here um, you got swings you know just some greenery it's just a nice place to come chill at the end of the day so beautiful park All right, y'all, so we are in front of what is known affectionately to the locals here as the bowling ball house. And I'm not quite sure why, but we're about to find out. But when you look behind me here, check this thing out. I mean, this house is a work of art to say the least. Um, apparently these, the owners used to live here, but now it's kind of turned into this quasi museum. I'm not quite sure about it, but like, I mean, it's the most eclectic thing you're ever gonna see. And here's the reason why. Hold on, let me get you guys. It's all kinds of crazy. So I'm gonna take you guys around the other side, do a little quick tour. And this is like a very interesting situation. So you've got all these balls and these are all pulling balls down here. And apparently you can pay and take a tour <laughs> through the home. 
which we're not gonna do today, I don't think. Maybe, oh, let's take a little walking tour. is this all right once again to go back huh y'all so i wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what these neighborhoods look and feel like and also what the home prices are actually right now now at the time of this recording um you know the I looked up the information before I left the house in the MLS and it said that the average home price was 442 um, in Safety Harbor. I'm telling you right now, that's not realistic. Um, this house behind me right here is a three bedroom, two bath, um, 1,650 square feet, and it was listed for 550,000 and went pending immediately. <laughs> so uh, they're moving pretty quick. Now, this home does have some unique characteristics. Uh, one of them being the fact that at the end of your block is literally the bay. So I wanted to give you that that idea, right? Like, is it possible to get right by the water for $550,000? And the answer is yes, right? And these neighborhoods are so awesome. You know, it's part of old Florida, um, but it also has just wonderful amenities. We talked about the beautiful parks. I'm gonna take you guys to Philippi Park next. Um, so you guys can check that out. It is absolutely one of the most beautiful places to go hang out. Rock climbing walls, playgrounds, that there's right now people are looking at uh, spotted horn owls which nest there very cool apparently it brings out a bunch of photographers we're going to check that out today um, but i just wanted to walk the neighborhoods a little bit and give you guys some insights as to why you know these these homes are beautiful you got the old cobblestone roads here um, you know great properties in the area uh, but to be able to walk out of your door and walk right down to the bay and just watch the sun rise in the morning and you know where Safety Harbor is located, you know, we're right, I mean, it is 20 minutes to the airport with traffic. Um, you're 25 minutes to downtown Tampa, which is great. You're, uh, you know, 10 or 15 minutes away from Clearwater, depending on where you're going in the city. To get to Clearwater Beach, that's probably going to be about 40 minutes with traffic. Um, you can probably get there in 25 minutes on a good day, but always, you know, factor in traffic. But you just have a lot of these really classic style homes. You know, the bungalow, the Spanish style homes that they that they built at, at the turn of the century is just gorgeous. But man, it's a very cool neighborhood. You got the old growth oak trees, which, you know, we've talked about a lot in Florida here. Um, you know, all the great foliage that we have. You know, it's just one of the greatest places to come, and I think, you know, to, to uh, hang out, you know, buy a home, you know, enjoy the lifestyle, maybe raise a family. Uh, it's just great. So I hope that helps give you guys some context on the neighborhood specifically.
Right, so we're here at Philippi Park and there's this really cool space inside of here too. We've got these little climbing rock walls here and they actually have the little grips so you can, you know, pretend like you're climbing up a big wall. That one right there is probably about 10 feet tall and then they've got these straps in between there that you can climb which I think are really cool. It's just a really nice spot to come hang out, bring the kids, get out of the sun. It's super shady here. <laughs> there could be some mosquitoes, but it's probably not too bad. And then there's there's weirdos like this over here. Um, if, for those of you that don't know, that is, <laughs> that is my bride. So we are out here today um, actually doing a photo shoot with our photographer, Miss Maddie. So for those of you that don't know, follow at Madison Madness Photography and you will be blown away. This woman does incredible work. So we try to do this as a family. I know most of you probably don't care, but figured I'd share with you anyways because it's something that my wife hears about and uh, for those of you that don't know happy wife happy life y'all So we're at Philippi Park and right now there is a uh, great horned owl here and apparently they um, uh, they hibernate here and it clearly draws a crowd because these guys are very excited to grab this bird and we're never going to be able to see it. So what I'll do is I'll put a, <laughs> a photo of one up here um, but these guys have got all these amazing cameras with these crazy lenses so they can capture a shot of this bird. That's how rare it is, right? It's a beautiful owl. It just flew from this tree here. I mean, these old growth oak trees are just phenomenal to this one behind me here. So yeah, very cool opportunity to come and check this out. And as you can see, they're all very excited for it. So fun to share. So we're walking up the historic Tokobaga Mound, which, um, you know, Indians used to live in this area here, and you can still find arrowheads, which is pretty darn cool when you think about that, y'all. And uh, there aren't many hills in Florida. As a matter of fact, there are very few in this entire area, but one of the things about Safety Harbor is there's actually a lot of rolling hills here. And as you can see, we're coming up this hill, and I don't know if I can give you any called Safety Harbor because it is exactly that. It's inside Tampa Bay. It's at the most northern point inside of Pinellas, where Pinellas County and Hillsborough County meet. Um, and it's a place where boats would go and, and get out of, you know, really rough waters out on the Gulf Coast, you know. So it's just a beautiful area. And we're walking up the top here. I'm going to share this with you guys right now.
live right behind the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa, um, and also right across the way from the Memorial Pier. And I just wanted to show this to you guys. I'll give you a little bit closer view here in a minute um, as, as we check it out. But this whole area here, you know, it's, it's beautiful, right? The marina's right across the way there. Boat launch is there as well. And then you come out here, they've got public restrooms, which is always nice. And Main Street is, is nothing but just directly behind this building, which, which is really cool. It's probably 300 feet <laughs> before you hit the amenities. The library is on the corner on that side as well, right across the way from the spa and resort. And then you've got this beautiful memorial pier. And the, as the sun sets in the west on every day, as you can see behind me over here, you know, you stand out on that pier and you can see dolphins. Literally, we were here last week taking uh, photographs and there was three dolphins out there you know as the sun's going down it's just one of those places you're like oh man how cool is that you know so this is a place you can absolutely fall in love and you know i love the entire tampa bay area y'all i love talking about this stuff you guys know if you've watched any of my videos you know that like this place just warms my heart and i'm so glad we landed here but when you're looking at areas like this you want to know what's going on right and i'm trying to always give you guys some context and and give you an understanding of what the lay of the land is you can come here and rent a kayak put it right on the water and then be right out in the bay and i know you can't see it with the gopro because it's just not strong enough but right there where my finger is pointing if you guys can see any of that that's tampa i hope you can see the skyline there because it's incredible so to be able to come out here you know in the memorial grounds and go to the pier and check out Tampa and watch the sun go down man it feels so good but the city is just absolutely gorgeous I love Safety Harbor man and what's not the love right I mean look at that downtown area it's pretty cool so the other thing we're gonna do today is we're, we are definitely gonna check out some parks um, we're gonna take you through a couple neighborhoods so you can just get an idea of what the houses look like what they feel like um, and then just give you an overall sense of what living in Safety Harbor would look like okay or you know maybe it's uh, retiring to Safety Harbor or investing in Safety Harbor whatever those things are I just wanted to give you guys some context for that hope this helps because this place is awesome So I'm standing in front of a landmark here in Safety Harbor and this is the resort and spa and this place is absolutely incredible. It's over 20 acres of beautiful stunning property here. This is a place where you can come hang out, chill out, look at the gorgeous bay take advantage of all the amenities they have to offer here. There is dining here. They do weddings here. Uh, there is a spa of course where the packages are awesome. I think you can get a 50 minute massage for like 130 bucks. Uh, checked out room rates today. Room rates are 240 a night, which are great. But this is a total landmark. This place is, was built in 1925. Like I said, there's 20 acres and it leads all the way out to the Memorial Pier, which uh, we're gonna get to in, in a minute here as well. But it's just an absolute gorgeous place to come hang out. If you are considering, you know, coming to the area, this is a great spot. If you were thinking of living in Palm Harbor or Safety Harbor or Dunedin, this would be a wonderful place to check in for the weekend come check out the town and just check out everything this place uh has to offer right as i turn around you can see back down main street again you know 
all the, the, the dining, the restaurants and the shops, they're all down this block. It literally goes for over a mile. Um, and you've got Giggle Waters down there, which is a speakeasy, total great place. The Whistle Stop where the wife and I love to go have dinner. They got an outstanding uh, burger with uh, fried green tomatoes on top. I never had one, it was actually awesome. So I would strongly encourage you guys to check that out. But if you're gonna come to the area, this is a great place to lock up a hotel room for the night and just check out the town. So that's what's up in Safety Harbor. So I'm standing right in front of Giggle Waters, which is a another, you know, safety harbor landmark here. And it's a little speakeasy, but what I really think is even cooler about that is not only is it a speakeasy bar, it's a restaurant, which you can see the dining right out front, but it's also a single screen uh, uh, cinema. So they do, you know, uh, film screenings here, so you can come check out a movie. That is really cool. Um, this town is, you know, like I told you guys earlier, we almost moved here. You know, we tried to buy a house in Dunedin, that didn't work. Um, we tried to get a seasonal rental to start because we weren't sure where we were gonna end up. And and we almost got a rental here in Safety Harbor. And we were like, wow, this place is great. Kate tells me, Kate's my wife, she tells me that this town reminds her of Stars Hollow <laughs> from uh, Gilmore Girls. Now, that wasn't ever a show that I was all, all up on, but I can get that, right? It, it, it definitely gives you that, you know, family friendly, you know, uh, you know, lifestyle type of you know neighborhood or you know city that you're gonna live in this definitely feels more like a town than a city to me there's like 20,000 residents roughly um, in Safety Harbor and it's just a beautiful area I mean we're downtown on Main Street you can see these ladies are shopping right outside right now there's boutiques everywhere you got all kinds of great coffee shops there's art all over the place um, as uh, and um, all these great restaurants and, and, and bars to, to dine and uh, you know have some libations at as well Kate and I have had dinner at the Whistle Stop uh, more than a few times. And if you guys have never been there before, what's up, puppy? Um, have you, if you've never been there before, and oh, by the way, Safety Harbor is super dog friendly, um, just in case you need to know. But the Whistle Stop Grill and Bar is an excellent place to dine. I had the, the Whistle Stop Original, which is a hamburger. It was great um, with a fried green tomato on top, which I've never had. That was awesome. Kate had a salmon BLT, and it was awesome. I was really kind of jealous that I didn't get that. Not that the burger wasn't great because it was but man it was just awesome so really cool place to come hang out it's right at the corner here i'll get you guys a little bit closer but they call it the whistle stop because it's right next to the train tracks and again just a really cool place to come out and have dinner if you're in the area so my recommendations are go to the spa okay have dinner there um, go to the resort get pampered check out the bay go check out a sunset go check out the manatees go check out the dolphins and then come down grab grab a beverage at giggle waters maybe have some dinner at uh, the whistle stop you will not regret it safety harbor is just an awesome place to be y'all so if you are considering making that move relocating or you're just thinking about what is going on in the area please feel free to drop a comment below i'd be more than happy to answer that for you or you can reach out call text email however you got to get hold of us when it comes to making a move to the area just know that when it comes to all things Tampa Bay, we've got your back. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.